Welcome back guys. Today I have another quick tutorial on the iPhone 7. I'm going to try to explain this as best as I can because there are some of you guys out there that, that might be new to the situation. Um, with this model or this phone itself, uh, tempered glass was just added right, right after it was added. It was dropped. And as you can see, the tempered glass itself was uh, cracked from the bottom left hand corner. I'm not sure if you can see right over here. It's a fine crack. But anywho, it was brought in to me to see if the da the screen was damaged itself. Um, because right after it took that hit, the screen became unresponsive. Even though it lights up, notifications come in, uh, phone calls you weren't able to be answered. So the, 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 the screen was just plain old uh, unresponsive. Uh, if you don't have that situation, if you drop your phone and the screen becomes black, uh, there could just be something uh, small instead of just having the screen replaced. So what I would recommend you to do before anything is uh, hold power and the volume down at the same time. Again, this one worked for the 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus, and the X models. Reason being is because the if it has a home button, uh, it's no longer a button, it's a sensor. So this is out of the out of the question. Power and volume down. And you can hold that. And it should restart the system. You should get that and just let it go. But I'm I'm gonna hold it again just so you guys can see. Now if this doesn't work, after after doing this simple method on this phone, it started working, the screen became un unresponsive. Now again, if your screen is black, what I recommend you to do is plug it in. Uh, sometimes your phone is uh, completely dead and you can't even, or you're not aware of that, so you can't even tell that this, the battery's dead and so it won't power on. So I recommend you have it charged or plugged into an outlet and hold the power and volume down again at the same time. And it should just restart the system again. Um, now, if that doesn't work, you can also try connecting it to a, a computer. After connecting it to a computer, again, that should work if you don't have a power outlet near you. Just uh, connect it to the USB port and, and try it. Um, after doing this, again, it uh, started working. Uh, t I've been testing it for, uh, for about 30 minutes now, every now and then, just touching the sensor. Um, As you can see, everything works fine. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. So I, I recommend you guys to try that. Again, uh, that's only if, you're, if there's no signs of uh, damage to the screen. Uh, in some instances, you can have actually your your LCD crack, which would stay um, black and with no picture. Uh, so if that's the case, that's a different story. Uh, you might have to have your LCD replaced. Again. Uh, Try this method if it works. If not, then I would I would recommend uh, taking a closer look at your LCD. If you found this video helpful, guys, don't forget like, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.